Hello everybody and welcome back to Gotham Lounge. My name is Joe, and today we're about to start a brand new game together. So if you guys have been with me for the last several years, I have played two other South Park games. South Park The Stick of Truth, as well as South Park The Fractured Butthole. And we're about to introduce the third South Park game on this channel. And it's actually the newest one that had just came out a few months ago. Um, South Park Snow Day. So I heard this game is very, very different from the previous two that we've done on the channel. And nonetheless, I'm willing to play it because I really enjoyed the previous two games. And uh, yeah, very, very, very exciting times we got. It's very ironic that... Oh, don't want to interrupt the dialogue. They are calling it the snowstorm of the century. All of South Park County is being pummeled with snow, and more is expected to come. Multi-car accidents and power outages are being reported all over town. Oh, honey, thank goodness you're safe. Mom, did you see how hard it's snowing out, Dad? Yes, sweetie, and it's getting worse. Well, are they saying it's going to be a snow day? They're going to cancel school, right? They haven't said yet. This storm has gone from bad to worse. I'm here at Stark's Pond, which has been completely frozen over, and a tanker truck has crashed into the ice. There have been multiple casualties. Multiple casualties? They're gonna cancel school. I just know they will. Eric, this is very serious. Things are just getting more and more horrible here, Tom. The storm is not showing any signs of stopping, and with the snow piling up and roads icing over, we are in for a catastrophic night. Oh, God, they're gonna cancel school. Did they cancel school yet? Did they cancel school? Eric, go back to bed. But I don't have to go to bed if I don't have to get up for school. We don't know that, Eric. We'll find out in the morning. <laughs> God, please. Please. Make it keep snowing. Harder than it ever has. Please, God, just this one time, don't fuck me. people dead, Tom. Reports of frozen water lines and even frozen bodies as this storm continues. Did they catch us, Keith? Did they catch us, Keith? Eric, it's horrible. City officials are warning that even first responders will be staying home today. The roads are completely blocked. There is no toilet paper anywhere. What a bad ski! This truly feels like the end of days. Everyone, please, take care of yourselves. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, and we've just received word that all Park County schools are closed for the day. Yes! Yes! There's no ski! It's a snow day! There's no ski! No, no, no ski! There's no ski! See you later, Mom. I'll be back in a couple hours. Have some brunch ready for me. Where do you think you're going? I'm going outside to play with my friends. I don't think that's safe, sweetie. Mom, it's a snow day. The most magical of days in a young child's life. That's all he was after, just to make sure there was no school. Never mind this winter wonderland. Holy moly. I'm very ironic I'm playing this in late May. I'm starting this first video. We had just gone over winter and we're in the beginning of summer. It's so beautiful! No school, everybody! No ski! Come on, it's a snow day! Come on, butters! Let's go, Stan! Snow day, everyone! Hey! Hey, new kid! New kid, I'm talking to you! There you are! Come on, new kid! Put your shit on! It's a snow day, dude! And of course, oh, I can't do anything right now. All right, let's see. Of course, I was going to say in typical Joe Gotham on fashion, I don't turn on the subtitles. I guess we'll wear a baseball jersey. And 
And we could add... I do frequently wear a hat. Our headphones would be cool, too. I like this one. I have no hair, so... Oh my god, I could actually have that. That's wild. Quick cold over. Yeah, I don't have a cold over, but... <laughs> um... Wow. Alright, well, I suppose I'll have that. Yeah, this should be good. Uh, we have... Oh, this is a cape. Alright, we'll wear that. Um, let's see. Oh, for the face. Um, handlebar. No, I don't have that. Right now, I look like this. Uh, glasses. Don't typically wear glasses. Oh, dancing. Yeah, that seems to be me. <laughs> oh, hold on. I can dance in numerous different ways. I think we're good, though. Be very careful out there, honey. Have a good time with your friends. Thank you, Mom. Ah, hello, my liege. It is I, the Grand Wizard. We have many battles to fight this day. Oh, right. By the way, since you last played, we had to redo all the rules and start over because somebody got all OP. So you're going to have to go to the school and talk to the Keeper of Rules. Welcome to South Park Elementary. And what I was going to say was... Where is... Ah, here we go. In typical Joe Gotham Lounge fashion, I don't I always forget to freaking turn on the subtitles. Alright, so we're just walking to the school, and everybody's digging themselves out. You don't say. Alright, the bus driver somehow is still in the bus that's stuck in the snow. Humans hate elves, and elves hate humans. Now go find some weapons and resources and meet me on top of the school. Go! Can't really do anything else except walk, so I'm just following the car so. Oh, hold on. You can hide in deep snow to protect you from enemy projectiles and put you out of line of... put you out if you've been set on fire. Staying in deep snow, however, will cause you to chill out and then deal damage. Okay, so it's got benefits and flaws. That's good to know. The wizard says toilet paper is more precious than gold right now. Pick some up, new kid. New kid, you can use that toilet paper like real money. Toilet you paper. Freezing my balls off here. I don't get paid enough for this shit. Well, none of us get paid to dig ourselves out of the snow, dude. I'm sorry. I know I don't. Okay, now we can jump. Now go for weapons. Find weapons for sale here. Hello, token. All right, you are on now, new kid. Now take out those snowmen to show you are battle ready. Destroy some snowmen. Okay. Pretty cool, new kid. Nice. Is this a trampoline? Yes. Oh wow, you can really fly on this thing. Holy smokes! You showed him. I need to destroy some more snowmen. Is there a... Uh... The snowmen are giving me 
Toilet paper. Weapons are nice. Right, Jimmy. But this game's also about using cards. Each card is a new ability. And here's your first one. What do I get? Bot escape. Buy yourself up to safety to gross out enemies in your wake. Cool. Think of this card is your license to fart. Let her rip, new kid. That's great. Try and fart over this ridge here. Great farting, my liege. Come on into the school. <laughs> That's all I do is fart. Get me back on the roof. Can I ain't go through these lockers. I don't think I can. I know this snow is really exciting, kids, okay? But you you can't let that get in the way of your studies, right? Go get on Zoom. This seems to be a little, uh, nostalgia, so to speak, to the crazy year we had in 2020. Toilet paper, Zoom, all that jazz. Alright, buddies. Oh. Use circle to avoid dodge attacks with dodge roll. That's a real nice dodge there. You got me. Ah. Yeah, get those in. Ah. Oh, nice. You can take a lot of damage. Oh, that looks like it hurt. Yeah, get a new kid. Well, oh, sensitivity is a little too high. Oh, right here. I have to change that. Hit me with a tennis racket. I'm gonna have to really get better at it. resources, got some basic weapon skills, and reviewed how to handle your cars. Now it's time for one last test. Hey, you wanted to see me? Who's this kid? Are they playing? No, not yet. They gotta pass one final test. Okay, new kid. Kick his ass! What? Ah! Go! Go, new kid! Kick that fucking elf's ass! That elf is okay. on the enemy team. Get him! Chasing the self down. All right. And it's still coming down, too. Oh, now I can sprint. Okay. I was wondering if this was going to be, like, as fast as I was going to be able to go. But nope. There actually is a sprinting option. You got slammed. Oh, you set me up, Al. Ooh, that looks like it hurt. Why don't you come over here, and I'll teach you about healing. This card will give you a new healing power. All right, healing totem. Plant a totem that heals you and your allies for a short time. That healing power will fix you right up. Give it a try. All right, press R1. When nearby, will heal you and your allies. Fantastic. One more thing. You need to get pissed off to use your power. Dealing and taking damage will get you pissed off. To get more pissed off, just keep beating up enemies. That seems pretty straightforward. All right, kids can use powers when they're pissed off. Your pissed off meter includes increases by taking or dealing damage. Using powers will decrease some of this meter. If you can't use a power, fight your weapons until you're Here pissed off again. Go get him, new kid. All right. Raw, raw, you raw. I got you. I dodge out of the way. Your roaring is not helping, kid. Camera angle, I gotta figure out too. Wow, you really let him have it. This calls for an upgrade. I'll usually be around after a 
battle to give you upgrades to your powers or weapon. Great. These cards upgrade your weapons and powers. Go ahead and pick one. Let's see. All right, we got bad blood. Damaging, damaging bleeding enemies makes you 25% more pissed off. Hemorrhage. Your daggers deal 25% more damage against bleeding enemies. Enemies drop 50% more toilet paper. I think I like this one, actually. Hemorrhage. Nice choice, new kid. Looks like you can try it out in this ambush. I mean, you knew I was about to get ambushed. Thank you, Jimmy. You're such a good friend. You knew... Oh, yeah. This does a lot of damage. That hurt. Ready to see what else the cards may hold? Oh, you're attacking me still. Oh, never mind, no one. Come here, new kid. The cards are dealt randomly, but just between us, I can reshuffle them for a little TP. Try it out. Oh, it's making me reshuffle it. We got Square Scrounger. Enemies drop 50% more toilet paper. Totems now revive allies like players do and go 20% faster. Dagger Dive does 6 more damage after 0.25 seconds in the air. Alright. Go ahead and reshuffle it. Look here, new kid. Not all upgrades are created equal. That's why we have a rarity system to tell you how powerful it is. The higher the rarity, the higher the power. Really rare cards will help you kick your enemies in the ass. The keeper of the rules dictates the rarities. But for a little TP, I can make them more powerful. All great cards have a level and a rarity. Each will offer benefits to a unique card. Jimmy can upgrade a rarity for a bribe and toilet paper. Foil packs, found in the world, increase card level. Increase the card's rarity. It's actually making me do that. And there you have it. Take your pick, new kid. Oh, and there we go. Keep that TP stuff on the DS. Yeah, this is what I want. Wonderful choice. I liked it the first time. We got another wave of enemies coming. Okay, elves. Yeah, it's doing a massive amount of damage. Can I have a do-over? No, you cannot have a do-over. That's not how the game works. Yeah, I'm being attacked. All over the place. Oh. I'm about to attack Jimmy. If you don't have a full session of four, these allies will show up and aid you during combat. They'll leave once the fight is over. If another player joins your session at any time, one of these other new kids will leave to make room for them. Alright, so this is the multiplayer aspect. Wait, what is this? Vampires? Whoa! Alright, enemy BS. Enemy leaders can play BS cards during combat to gain an unfair advantage. BS powers are limited to only a few uses, but they're really powerful. Just now, Kyle upgraded one of his Elven Swarmers to Vampire, with increased health and new attacks. They are attacking my allies. Play with your friends. Thank you. That was a very abnormally fast loading screen. So, as you can see, we've had to make some changes to the game because some asshole who we won't name decided to become all powerful and ruin the stick of truth because then everyone wanted to be all powerful and nobody could die anymore. So then we played superheroes, and guess what happened? That same someone got all OP again and fucking ruined that game too. And now because of that someone, we've had to add a bunch of fucking ruse. And then once there were ruse, everyone started arguing over the ruse. And then we all went to war again. Remember, with this new card-based system, you're only as powerful as the cards in your hand. And you only get two to start with. So now you can't be all OP. Good luck trying to ruin this game. I'm sure you'll manage. Thank you. Of course, even though you are technically the king, you still have to play by the new rules because this is America. So, you are now the king of two cards. Congratulations. Now listen, 
Cloud has information that the elves are preparing to launch a massive attack on our kingdom. They've been spotted advancing their forces near Stark's Pond. We have to take them out before they kill us all. Oh, and new kid, this mission will be very dangerous. So I'm pairing you with some other new kids who also recently moved to town. But keep in mind, you are the real new kid. Those other new kids will be working for you because you're the one that matters, okay? You're the big dog. Also, I'm going to sign you all numbers. Totally at random, no big deal. But there's a chance I might not give you number one. Just know that you're still the best new kid to me. You're the important one, even if you're like number four. Good luck. Okay, new kid, now that you know how to play, you have no excuse if you break the rules. Me, I broke the rules. Right. Come on, kid, you can't take an arrow from me if you don't even know where the people are fighting. Find me a Koopa Keep. I'm trying to destroy the snowmen because they had toilet paper. Oh, I'm stuck in the mailbox. All right, Eric. Cartman. Come here and I'll show you how to wage war on my behalf. And bring your friends, if they're not pussies. This is my war table. You can choose your mission on the map. And tell me when you're ready to head to the front lines. You can join someone else's game if you want. Not everyone is cut out for the glory of leadership. I don't think that's me. Just mark your name here if you want back up that bad. I'll pull in some randos if you don't have any buddies around. Either way, you can head back to the war table whenever you're prepared. Oh, okay. You can change the difficulty here, too. Select chapter. And then use the start run button. You're ready for battle. Excellent. Step into the portal to embark on your mission. Alrighty, guys. So. Here I am. All 3D'd out and everything. I just realized I'm wearing a baseball shirt, t-shirt, and it's still snowing pretty heavy. I really hope I don't catch hypothermia. But, um, anyhow, guys. Looks like this is going to be a really fun game to play through and walk through. Um, we're going to be doing... Hold on, let me go back to the I'm war tables. I just need a little uh, memory jogger. What's going to happen? Ah. Behold. The land of Zara. We're going to Stark's Pond to begin our first quest. So this was basically just a tutorial. But, again, I think we're going to enjoy ourselves playing through this game. And, uh, yeah, more excited for things to come. So until then, guys, I'm going to actually go ahead and end the episode right here. So thank you guys very much for tuning in today for this episode of South Park Snow Day here in Gotham Lounge. If you guys Still enjoyed the video, please go, go ahead and... Tolkien, <clears throat> man. Expand your horizons back. Eric, I'm right next to you. All right, guys. You guys have a fantastic day.